boys were all just assembling really uh, not that yet the goal until another 15 minutes and already there's a great crowd there um, basically we're just going to be marching around the city centre instead of sat on the road countering them so we're actually going to pit a visible opposition in front of them this time and uh, we're going to scream all over the place particularly in solidarity with the women who have been charged in the last year uh, with obtaining uh, the abortion pills, um, which is also the law in the Republic. So, um, and we're supporters of Need Abortion Ireland, um, who help women to access safe uh, pills and have a helpline as well for women who um, are going through abortions um, in Ireland. Our bodies, our lives! Our bodies, our lives! Our bodies, our lives! Thanks everyone for coming. So it's a bit too wet for speeches, uh, so we might just let Diana from the Dairy 3 speak. Uh, she's one of the women who handed herself in, so I'm just going to hand it over to Diana. I'm Diana and Kitty's here. Colette number three is back in Derry, not very well anyway. Um, just to let you know, we're still here. We've no word yet from the prosecution service. Is that loud enough? Yeah. Stand back a bit, right. About the hand in, in my statement to the police, I had mentioned that I was working in social work in Belfast in the 70s. Sorry. Uh, when at that time there was only very extremely dangerous backstreet abortions were available for poorer women. So after I made my statement to uh, the police, the PSNI woman officer, the first question to me was, so were you handing out these pills when you were working in Belfast in the 70s? For getting my lawyer's advice not to get involved in anything more than yes or no, I stammered, but sure, they didn't exist then, and she replied, is that a no? At this point, my solicitor sitting behind me said, yeah, that is a no. <laughs> the uh, intended implication of the policewoman's question was that my actions are not just criminal, but also irresponsible. Perhaps we can safely assume that an awful lot of people out there may also have little understanding of the extent of the safety of the nine-week abortion pills. So I think we need to keep working at getting, getting the message out that womenhelp.org and womenonweb.org are reputable and informative sites that, that uh, obligatory consultation with registered GP online establishes whether the pills are safe for you. The pills are sent out, the very same pills used in medical abortions in GB and Scotland. You will be told the signs of possible but rare complications. If you have anxieties, you go to A&E or a GP. There's no way to tell the difference between natural miscarriage and medical abortion. The symptoms are the same. So what we are being denied is the wraparound comfort of NHS healthcare supervision and the security of legality. In their place, we are handed only criminalization. Remembering that just because uh, 
people in Ireland, some people in Ireland have the right to travel, doesn't mean that people should have to travel for health care. So that, so Kerry's just got to wrap it up for us. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome. It's great to see this crowd. Yeah. Um, when we were, I was trying to think what I was going to say, and as you can see, it's not very much, so it's all right. Um, when we were coming across the Glenshian Pass on the bus, there was um, there was a family standing at a doorway. And the the girl in her wedding frock, and this older man along with her, and it looked like you know they were looking forward to a new world and everything else. And I thought, now that is tradition, the daddy giving away the girl. But that's a tradition we can all live with because it doesn't m interfere with everybody's lives. It's just something that's a habit from the past. There were an awful lot of other habits in the past and in many other countries besides Northern Ireland where it's a habit from the past and it's damaging women. So here we go. Uh, if tradition is harmless, hang in there, enjoy it. But not if it's hurting women and children. The 1861 law was not harmless and let me assure you all that all over England, Scotland and Wales this law exists also. It's just that it's been superseded by the 1967 one over there. So make sure that you're alert to all that. Um, the denial of women's right to control her own reproductive health is what 1861 is all about and that's why we're fighting. And women with the men who support them uh, and who all support human rights had to fight to get us the freedoms that we enjoy today. Remember that and stay vigilant and keep fighting. No more dirty secrets. Woo!